Hello, everybody. Hello, early morning Saturday in downtown Los Angeles. There it is right there. But this video is going to be about Long Beach and the three worst public schools. So let's go through them and then we'll talk about it. Number one is Inflatable Tube Junior High. Now, in an effort, because of the climate is so temperate and you can basically have school outside if you want, the Inflatable Tube Junior High said, let's do just that and eliminate all the costs of a building. So the classes are held on a lake uh, on inflatable tubes, sometimes on a stream or a tributary to the lake. Uh, but the teacher uses a megaphone and the students, because they don't really read and write anymore, they just get on their um, electronic devices, the school, of course, gives them waterproof electronic devices to take notes. And as you can imagine, the results of this are not very good. The school's uh, students uh, barely passed the state minimums. And in fact, uh, the only subject they were really, really good at was inflatable tube inflation. And the reason being that if they can't get that uh, inflatable tube all pumped up and out on the water, uh, they can't go to school. So guys, <laughs> avoid that one. So the second one really is a little bit uh, a little bit concerning, and and that is the log cabin elementary down there in south side, the south part of Long Beach, over toward the water. So Long Beach Elementary, the whole idea is that uh, Long Beach Log Cabin Elementary. The whole idea, <coughs> excuse me, is that. Public education, this is, this is on their website, public education has gone down since the diminished role of the log cabin school, the one-room schoolhouse, okay, from the prairie days. And the feeling being that not only should class sizes be smaller, but entire schools should be smaller, and they have a school district where grades one through eight okay, are all in one room. It's a basically a one-room log cabin schoolhouse. And that sounds cool in a way, a little retro, a little um, bit nostalgic for a simpler time, but it's almost impossible to teach a kindergartner and an eighth grader uh, in any kind of efficiency that each will benefit from. What happens is everybody gets uh, shortchanged. Guys, I'm gonna ask you to avoid that one, um, unless, unless you, really don't want to homeschool and you don't mind your kids wearing overalls every day and walking around with a piece of grass in their mouth like they, they're on their little house on the prairie. All right, that's number two. And number three, this is really a more of a modern, uh, a more modern take. And I've seen it, I've seen it here in downtown LA. So it's not a, I don't know if it's a brand new idea, but I've seen it before. So my take is it's been around for probably at least a year. But in Long Beach, they do have the uh, scooter. <laughs> this is really almost uh, a definition of insanity in my... But I'm old school. I went to a regular school, so maybe we should be open to new ideas. So down in Long Beach, they have the Long Beach Scooter High School. Again, it's kind of like the inflatable tube junior high, whereas this high school does not have an actual school. All the kids ride scooters all around Long Beach. Now, the beauty of this is they can go to different sites, like a field trip at a moment's notice, guys, right? They, they can just jump on their scooters as long as they're charged up and every student has to make sure their scooter is charged. And they shoot over to these different uh, parts of Long Beach to learn. So it could be the Aquarium of the Pacific, for example, where they go and learn about, obviously, the Pacific Ocean and sea life. So maybe, but I just, it just, uh, I can't, maybe it's too new for me. Maybe I'm too old for this idea to work. So again, there's no actual school. They meet in downtown Long Beach on their scooters. And then the teacher goes, and away we go. That's how they start the school and uh, start the classes. And then, then they take off. And so that's why when you see 30, 40, 50, 250 scooters riding around uh, Long Beach, you're like, what is this, some kind of gang? 
And the answer is, yeah, it's a gang of students uh, living their best life, learning from life on the streets, life on the life in front of the art museum, the science center, the aquarium of the Pacific, uh, the choral concerts, the rich uh, cultural and creative uh, resources right there in Long Beach. So, I, you know, the more I talk about it, the more I say, hey, it might, it might work. So if uh, you don't mind not having a football team, uh, an actual school or a cafeteria that serves fish sticks, then the Long Beach uh, Stand Up Scooter High School might be for your child. But in my mind, one of the three worst in the city. So uh, check them out yourself. Go online, do some research, and tell me what you think. Get on the Twitter machine. Get on the YouTuber. Say, hey, uh, my kid went there, and now they're uh, running for uh, city council. They're running for uh, president in 2020, whatever it is. Or, you know, they they uh, discovered they discovered the uh, answer for uh, s- scotch tape that doesn't stick. I mean, you peel it off the brand new roll of scotch tape. You stick it on there. And it doesn't stick. You're like, wait a minute. That's the whole role of the tape is to stick. So when you take it off, you peel it off, you're acting in good faith. You bought it from a reputable store. It's a reputable brand. This isn't like discount scotch tape. And then you put it on the piece of paper and try to stick it to the wall temporarily so you can look at your ideas on the wall but not have to hang it like a, you know, a poster. And then it doesn't stick. I mean, come on, man. Uh, There you go.